decided to, you know, I had a gun by me and I, I don't know where I was at in my mental state, but between the depression, anxiety, the COVID effect, the medication, the alcohol, I did something that I never thought I would ever do. Former hockey player Nick Cradiles died in a motorcycle accident Saturday, aged only 29, just after posting this picture on his Instagram and captioning it, Night Rider. After the news of his death going viral, many social media users have started alleging that he didn't accidentally die. One social media user said, My mom does not think he accidentally ran that stop sign. He was contemplating for a good while. Even sadly, by this picture, he does not look like himself. So sad, nobody bothered to help him. Another social media user commented and said, News said there were no signs of impairment and that he ran the stop sign. Very sad, but I cannot help but think about how he fought mental health, mental health issues previously. Uh, another social media user said, Oh my god, this is horrible news. I honestly thought he died by... He had some serious depression from what was reported. I hope his family pulls through these hard times. So those are some of the many comments online implying that the hockey player's accident was not an accident. In 2022, Nick almost took his own life due to depression. A team of friends, relatives and his ex fiancee Savannah came through and supported him and that is how we saw him beating depression and getting back to normal. Um, in the last 48 hours, we have had some some devastating, you know, um, incidents that have occurred, and those um, involve our boy Nick. And um, Nick, would you like to share your story? Yeah, and um, I'm super grateful to be here today. Um, as Todd and Sam mentioned, I recently went through COVID as well, and um, now reading a lot more about it, I kind of understand uh, why this situation might have happened that occurred the other night. Um, definitely not something that is easy to talk to but I think that if I can share it um, it could help somebody else out there as well uh, just the other night I um, you know I've been well, with COVID and some of the things that I've um, had from COVID I've been on medication and um, I decided to mix alcohol with it to a, a point that a lot of alcohol a lot of alcohol uh, to a point that I don't remember anything that happened that night um, and I was in a full blackout and um, luckily I had a haircut set up by my good friend Chad, and if he wasn't there, I don't know if I would still be here today, to be completely honest. Um, you know, I, I decided to, you know, I had a gun by me, and I, I don't know where I was at in my mental state, but between the depression, anxiety, the, the COVID effect, the medication, the alcohol, I did something that I never thought I would ever do. And uh, to this day, I'm so grateful that I'm here today because of people like Savannah and Todd who, uh, and Chad who came to, to support me and love me like they did in that moment. So um, it's not easy to talk about, 